All right. Refresh now if you haven't. Try. <laughs> I tried the wrong bridge stream. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I had to restart. I didn't restart. I just stopped streaming and started streaming on OBS. Like, it was outputting at 6,000 kilobits a second, and I checked some other Twitch streamers, and they were still live. So I was like, I don't know. I just get the old Microsoft restart. <laughs> it was weird. All right, let's try this now. Maybe. Come on, compile for me. There we go. Kick it off and see if it works right. Exactly. Exactly what I did. Ooh, stretch tab. Oh, my arms are sore. <laughs> Still doing it. Why? Yeah, I, th I think I don't have that node. So as much as I don't want to, I think I'm going to have to do something different here, which kind of makes sense. There's no point in having a spline if you're placing a single item. So what we're going to do is. Um, destroy actor on self so if you only have the first point placed and you right click it's just like say oops i didn't want to place it kind of thing more so i think that's actually the better way to go because i don't really want you placing one pillar on a spline that doesn't make a lot of sense so hopefully this works and we can go boop and it just deletes it instead. But if you do more than one, it still deletes it because that didn't work. What? What? <laughs> that should have still only been one. All right, hold on. Um, excuse me. Print string. The number of spline points. Hello, that should have been two, not one. Unless that button just doesn't work. We're going to print the number of spine points. Why did that delete? Why is there still an actor if that deleted? Why are there now two? I'm doing destroy actor and it's still there. Maybe it's because I have my remote out. No, they're still there. How are they still there if they don't exist? I literally destroyed them. I literally hit a destroy actor node, which deletes yourself from the self. What? I what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so confused right now. That makes no sense at all. So it didn't print string. So why did it delo Why did it destroy? That doesn't make any sense either. This I'm so confused. This is not making sense. Like any logic. 
I don't have to destroy Doctor anywhere except for in that double tangent of stuff. Things. But it still didn't delete, deleted. Deleted, yeeted. Deleted, yeeted. But it was still technically in the world. I'm thoroughly confused. Two, three, four. Server and client. So why was I. Get, what? Also, why is that two? It was one a minute ago. <sighs> See, this is like peanut butter equaling seven. It makes no sense. This makes no sense at all. <laughs> Like, like you can see it says four on server and client. And if I right click it, all disappears. But all those are still there. And I have this set to only when it equals one. <laughs> that makes no sense. What the fuck? It makes literally no sense at all like i don't even know how you go about f that's like i close the dev kit and and restart it kind of thing that doesn't make any damn sense that's like saying if one equals two do this Get spline actors. We were printing that number out. You saw it was four. Four does not equal one. So it should be false and nothing should happen. If we hook that up there, nothing will happen. Maybe one equals three. Feels like it. I'm going to try that. Also, they were still in the world, even though it says destroy actor, which just is like the ultimate delete, yeet yourself in out of existence thing. So how are they still there? Maybe this will fix it. I, I don't know how, if it will. All right, two, three. Nope. Nope. What? <laughs> doing the opposite that was the opposite of what it was supposed to do and that time it worked all right i'm i'm yep that's that's a that's a big what the fuck <laughs> that's a big uh close the area and uh, restart it uh, another one of those like uh, is there anything in there that I can ban easily? Yeah, we'll ban that term. Okay. Now let's go in here and go into this button. And go into this button. Let me open stream elements real quick. Stream elements. Mm -hmm. And. Spam filters. Okay, taken care of. <laughs> those are the bots, right? Yeah. I shouldn't have that mess. I got one of those same messages yesterday, so I just added the get viewers without a space in it into my spam filter, so it'll delete it if it happens again. Okay. And we need what, number 14? Yes. Okay. 
Now we wait. Give me just a minute. I'll be your while this loads up. No momento. Uh, and I can't carry that. Get back. And I can't move. <laughs> Where's my flamethrower? That's, that's crazy. Die, Dodos. Dead. Oh, rip. <laughs> oh, ouch. Might need help in the Redwoods <laughs> to get my I body back. Them. I got Scott distracted. Somebody go kill him. <laughs> oh, I just killed him. <laughs> oh. I just meleeed him through a window. <laughs> Call back. <laughs> Hit learn all Ingrams. Oh, there's one here. Yeah, I put one on right here on the wall. No, that's a light. <laughs> this thing right. Oh, I'm tripping out. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, oh God, Dodos, do not step on those. Oh God, I can't see. I don't want to move because I can't see. Thirsty. I don't have any drinks. Do I have any glass jars? Nope. I'm just... Some yuccas. I thought they gave you thirst. I guess not. I'm overheated right now. But it's a question. Maybe an answer. Natural disaster. Spice overload. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it burns my lips and my tongue. Oh, what burned on my lip? Mm. Oh. That's the worst one yet. Other than the how so I've seen we oh We ate uh, a ghost pepper chip. <laughs> With two pieces of ghost pepper jerky and three ghost pepper peanuts on top of it. We had a ghost pepper parfait. Hey, it's hot. Yeah. Okay, I am back. We're still waiting. Oh, thank you, Zola. What's up, Jazzy? Hopefully that works. Otherwise, I don't know what's going on. Because, like, it was doing some weird shit before I closed the kit. So I'm really hoping it's just the kit being weird. Yeah. I 
that didn't change anything. <laughs> uh, so to see what you got. Yeah, it's pretty cool what we got so far. Oh, it's almost loaded. Well, then we have to wait for the primer game to load. No, that's already loaded. That's why the editor took so long to load. Woo! There's a yawn in there. I gotta say, I'm liking these daytime streams and getting the bed a little earlier. <sighs> I feel well, plenty more rested throughout the day. Like, I got a lot done yesterday on and off stream. To the point that I may even move, like, Thursday recording to the daytime. We'll see. I need to make a mod of TT so I can play with MTT. <laughs> right. There we go. Okay. Let's let it discover assets real quick. And we'll show you what we've got. Maybe it'll work. I was being really weird before I restarted the kit. Really weird. The only way to destroy actors is if that is equal to two. Double checking my brain here. All right. We're very early stages of this mod. Working on dynamic fencing. We have like a little a placeholder mesh in there. Um, but the mesh is going to be changed, obviously. Two different, different kinds of fencing. All circular, though, or square. Post style for this one. This is like a post style fence. So you place your fencing wherever you want it around your base. And then right click. Hey, I think that did fix it. Cool. Uh, ignore that. I got a fix coming for that shortly. But uh, And then you'll go up and you'll add resources to it to build it. But that's how easy it'll be to lay out a fence around your base. Voila. Fencing. And it'll be like the forest where you walk up to it and add resources to it. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be doing more than fences. I want to do walls, uh, foundations. So, like, click right there and then click right there. And it fills the area with foundations and so on and so forth. Hey, it's working. No, it left one. What the hell? Change this to one real quick, I think. It's only printing that once, but yeah, a lot of work left to do. Like a lot of work left to do, but it's getting there. This is just the ghost placement because I'm I'm not using Arc Arc's system. I'm building my own. Why is that? Oh, that's the one up there. Okay. All right, there we go. Now if you right click without left clicking again, it just deletes it. But if you whoop, right click deletes, basically deletes the active segment. All right, now let's go fix that floating one. Like schematic amount of Minecraft where it has a hologram. Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll be placing the hologram like if you've ever played the forest, I'm going for like that. But yeah, a lot like, um, a lot like uh, like Lightmatica in, in Minecraft, um, but like it doesn't stay there after you place it; it goes away. So it's it's kind of like the preview structure in Arc. You know how when you're placing something, it shows up as that green structure, and then you place it, and it goes away. So this will stay there. You run up to it, put the resources into it, and then it changes into the real structure. But um, not so much placing the real structure on top of it, like Lightmatica is. Uh, so it should be pretty cool. All right, we need to fix the. Let's get rid of these print strings real quick. 
We are good here. And that was just the dev kit being weird. I was so confused. Oops. I was so confused. Like that was that was weird shit. I was like, this makes no sense. <laughs> that was strange as hell. Oh, I do need to check that they don't somehow still exist again after I delete them. Shouldn't. I think that was just the dev kit being the dev kit. It's like if you leave the dev kit open for too long, like six hours, it's like, nope, that's enough. I'm going to start being weird. But if this works, I could, like, if I figure out their whole building system, I could make it like a light Matica for Arc where you could blueprint systems, And but I'd want to figure out, like, the reason that works so easily in Minecraft is there's no gravity, whereas in Arc there is. <laughs> so plus stuff has to be placed in the right order or it collapses. Uh, and you have to add that collapsing to it. So. All right, I need to... Now nah, before we test, we'll do this. Okay, we want to... S we need to do a line trace to the ground right at the... S right at the spline here. Get location on spline. We can replace all this ugliness with this. All right, first things first. We're going to get the location on the spline. Oops. And then trace, taste, taste, taste. Line channel. Uh, before I do that, I want to go and turn all these off. I don't need that anymore. Well, I'm thinking of that. Also, a lot. Some of what I'm doing here also has uh some stuff I plan to add to CC. So a lot of what I'm doing here is going to be reused, <laughs> which is great. Okay. All right. Let's start a line trace from... Let's add, I mean, that should, 120, I'm just going to get a little bit off the ground, not a lot of it off the ground. Doesn't need to be a very big trace. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully that is all I need. Unless we come into some use cases again. We'll see if we can uh, avoid those floating ones. Like I said, I don't know how they weren't always floating before because I was doing no line tracing. That should have always been 100 in the air. But they weren't. So we'll see if they somehow spawn 100 in the ground now. Are so good. I think we have fixed it. 
We'll do some proper testing here. Hi, samples. I think we seem good. Let's double check they're all the same height here. Yeah, it looks like they all are. All right, we have fixed that issue as well. Now, I said it like an hour and a half ago, I think our placement for these is done. We have covered all edge cases in weird spaces where it doesn't get stuck anywhere. It doesn't look strange. No matter what we do, it continues on it goes under ledges it doesn't pop back on top of them unless you make it pop back on top of them hmm. nothing I can really do about that because <laughs> it's not hitting the edge it would have to trek backwards up the side and yeah I can't yeah Cause it's not hitting that edge it's actually going underneath for a while So that is an edge case that I can't really catch very easily. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to kind of start it and stop it. Because it not, it's not technically hitting anything. It's going underneath. Wait, my line trace should be hitting up here, though. I don't, yeah, I'm not finding that. Hold on. <laughs> you can see where it gets close to the ground, it goes up, but as soon as it can go under, it does. the trace isn't hitting anything. I mean, it's going straight forward. It's not using the end of the spline, it's using the ground location. a tough one. It either has to be this way or it has to be that way. I don't know that there's a good way to bet get between it. Is this doing what it's supposed to do right now? Because I have it set to try to climb stuff. But not to jump. Because I want it to be able to go under stuff like this. Maybe if the spline height difference is could try. Um, I mean, I think I could catch it. Because right now there's going to be quite a difference between the location of the barrel and the end of the spline. The end of the spline is actually where my cursor is up there. So I could check to see if that's if that difference is too big. It does a line trace from my cursor and tries to use that. But I would have to trace, but oh, that's complicated. <laughs> oh, that's complicated. More realistically, what you do is click right there and then click right there. And then you have a perfect, perfectly lined up. 
you just wherever you want it to be. Click, right click, click, and it continues. Oh, that one's on the wall. I think I'll leave it like that. That's going to be a very limited use case where that happens. I may come back for it. For right now, you can just literally click, right click, click, and continue on. And have it perfectly lined up. Oh, too far away. off the edge of the map okay yeah I'm gonna leave it like that looks like I'm gonna take some thinking on that but I may come back and be able to uh oh, I need to do my right angle thing too placements okay yeah I got one more thing to do before we finish placement I want to be able to do instead of these big sweeping angles I want to be able to do I mean, you can already do them by stopping it and starting it, but I'd like to have an option to just do right angles like that, which is a lot harder than it sounds. But you can see how that whole wall curves, so I'd like to be able to do boom, and then, I mean, if you don't move, you can already do it, but it's not exactly perfect. So I want to be able to do, I want to be able to do straight and then the curved as an option. Because that's kind of what it looks like as a curve. I tried to do that triangle. It looked more like that. And I know it comes to a point, if you want to end in that point, you would kind of do like this. Or if you don't want it to end in a point, you would have to do it like that. That's just how splines work. I may make this range shorter because <laughs> that's really far for arc. Probably make it like that far. But I don't know. I do like the idea of like hovering in your tech check back and building from above like this seems nice. I leave it like that. But aside from the right angles, I think I think the placement is pretty robust. We've got right angles and ledges are the only two things. The ledges are going to take some thinking. I might, like I have an idea. I don't know how easy it will be to implement. That may be the next thing I work on. Um, like I said, if the last place barrel is different from the line trace, like by a large amount, I'll try to get the barrel up there. But then if I look like, line tracing onto a wall that's going to not work right so i don't know how i don't know how feasible that one's going to be it'll it'll have to take some testing but i'm liking it so far i still got to come up also uh with whatever system i'm going to use to like like i can place the the outline but i have to come up with other system for you know like building filling in the outline so we still have to come up with that um which I have no clue how I'm going to do yet, like at all. I'm going to have to save, figure out how to save the positions in the spline and get reference to the spline and all that stuff. So I've got a lot of figuring out left to do, um, which means I need to do some more research. But I think I'm about as far as I can make it today or want to make it today. I'm going to do some research about ac accessing spline variables and all that stuff. Um, and I might have to save variables into the spline because um, right now there's no way to get like I can't get those instance, those meshes and just like their location. I'm going to have to um, have these saved and then access these to spawn the regular ones and make sure they're the same size. So I think by doing it like this, I've helped myself out a lot unintentionally. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end here today, guys. I got a lot done. I hope you guys are enjoying the day streams. Um, tomorrow will be an evening stream of 
seven days to die, I think. Yeah, seven days to die tomorrow um, on our series. So we will be back tomorrow with our seven days to die. And we will catch you guys then. Later, everybody. we find one is there yeah <laughs> i was like is there any uh sensors around <laughs> there's plenty all right climbing that ladder though makes noise right so we got to worry about that there's a high chance of the chest the large structure well i didn't see one i was just there um what we could do is we could like how much wool do we bring? Yeah. <laughs>